Hi, my name is Linnea Nibel and I work as a field application scientist covering ion torrent for the Nordic countries. Amplisic on demand is basically a build on on our very popular Amplisic technique, uh, but instead of choosing custom targets, we have an inventory of amplicons for the genes of your interest. So basically, you can go in, pick your disease area, and you can choose the type of genes that you're interested in. It's primarily for inherited disease, covering full genes. Well, you just go to amplisic.com. There you click on Amplisic On Demand and you will go into the interface of Amplisic On Demand. There you can either add your targets through the disease area. So you choose your disease area and then you click in and you get a list of the genes that are involved in that disease and that we have in this Amplisic On Demand inventory. Uh, the second way you can do it is to upload a gene list or add your genes one by one. Um, if a gene is not in the inventory, you can add them anyway, and we will create a spiking panel for you. Uh, basically, if you know that you're looking at a specific disease, then you can create this small panel only focusing on that disease. You can buy a smaller reaction pack and just do this for this little project instead of using the custom versions, uh, which is more for, for basically more reactions, bigger projects, usually more involvement. So with these um, Amplisic On Demand uh, genes that we have in the inventory, not only do we have them on the shelf, which makes the uh, delivery time shorter, we have also tested them in the lab. So we actually have coverage data showing how the applicants perform. And that is really crucial for my customers. Currently, there are around 5,000 genes in the inventory. We are adding on as new genes comes along. As we see the interest from the field, from our customers, we are adding genes. We just had a new release of genes this May, um, but more will follow. Yes, yeah, so Amplisic On Demand data is just like your any Amplisic data. Uh, you will analyze it first in our Torn Suite software that you run with the instrument. Um, after this, you can then choose to have it uploaded to our Ion Reporter software, either in the cloud or on your local server. Um, and you will analyze it like any other Amplisic data. Just run it through the pipeline. It will give you a list of variants. It will perform the annotation and filtering. Yeah, so you would start like you normally do, extracting your sample. And that would, of course, depend on what type of sample type you have. Then you go into the actual library preparation, which is an Amplisic library preparation. can be done either manually or automated. So it's important that all of these Amplisic on demand panel can come ready to be automated on our Ion Chef system. Um, so not only can you do manual library preparation, but also automation. Uh, the next step is to go into the template preparation. This means that we need to amplify our library to be able to perform the sequencing. And this is also done on our Ion Chef system. And it's uh, completely automated. So you put in a pool of all of the libraries that you intend to sequence on one ship. Um, you put in two pools. So you actually prep two chips at a time and it does everything from amplification, creating our spheres, loading the spheres on the chip. So out from the Ion Chef instrument comes our loaded chips um, that we then put into the sequencing instrument. The sequencing run takes two hours and once this is done, the data will be analyzed. If you have chosen to have your data analyzed in the Ion Reporter, after the primary analysis, the data will be automatically transferred to Ion Reporter and the full analysis workflow will be performed. 
and in the end you can then view your variants, go through them, open them in IGV, um, you can export the VCF file, the BAM file, whichever file you prefer for your own secondary analysis of the data. So I'll start from the library preparation. If you do a manual workflow, it takes about four to five hours with the AmpliSeq library preparation. Um, if you do it on the Ion Chef, uh, it will take you 15 minutes to set it up. It's really simple and easy. Um, you run eight samples at a time that are then pooled directly and out you get a pool of libraries that is at a certain concentration. So basically 15 minutes for that setup of eight libraries. Um, then setting up the chef, Ion Chef for the template preparation is another 15 minutes. It's really simple, easy workflow. The instruments will tell you what you have to do in every step. Um, and then we have setting up the actual S5, Ion S5 instrument, and that takes even shorter time actually. So there are a few reagents that are plug and play, and once those are in, the Ion Chef has performed its run, you take out the chip, you put it into the sequencer, and you start the run.